Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Stock Swoosh Show review of the QQQs. They're very bullish today. Am I surprised? The answer is no. Market came in yesterday in the morning, failed to break the low of the previous day's bar on Wednesday, and held. And I lectured about this in the room yesterday, and I said, if we break Wednesday's low, we're going to pull in not a lot, but something, but still not big, still not changing the trend, still going to hold. Just could have a red day here, but if we hold, then we hold. We held into the barest, minimus, tiniest support level the market has to offer. And we are now actually continuing and following through on over 57 will be over the high here in the queues. And I actually did the queues long today, and it's working, and it looks fine, and there's nothing wrong with this. And this should rally nicely, smoothly, cleanly, I think, into the close. I think the queues are, queues are a trade into the close here today. And I didn't anticipate being in a trade all day today, but I guess if that's what it is, that's what it is. This is working out. There's nothing wrong with it. It's holding extremely bullishly. The market is just slowly making its way higher. And I believe this close today will be strong. So when will this take place? 2 o'clock, 2.15, 2 o'clock, could, could even wait till 3 o'clock, but I think 2, two o'clock, probably around 2, 2.15-ish. 2 the market should continue and aggressively get over the high. So the queues are a nice long, and if we do not have today or close today with the Megalodon green bar in the market, uh, I don't know if we're going to do it next week then because of the holiday week. If it wasn't the holiday week next week, I'd say there's a probability of having a very large green day next week, although it could happen even though it's a holiday week. Uh, but it's going to be a slow week to trade in the market next week. And I suggest that people take the time around the holiday off, and that's what I'm doing as well. So look for the market to follow through here higher. Next target is 93.75, 94. 95 is really the target in the QQQs if it wants to have a big massive day today. I think it has to start to get going by 2. And even if it does by 2, target really then is like 94, 94, 25-ish, meaning that it wouldn't get to 95 today. Okay. So nice chart here in the market. Everything looks higher. If we don't have the crazy green day today, maybe we do it early next week for the holiday, but probably will not happen then until July. Uh, however, nothing but green skies ahead for this market. Could have pulled in, not going to do it. Again, this is all new buying that took place in the last month, so it's just going to continue higher. I've had a really good read in this market. I've actually been playing it long. I really, it's one of these things here where it's almost shocking how bullish the market's been and that a fact that I'm actually buying it because I like to short. And if I am buying this, then it is absolutely 100% conviction a long. <laughs> so look for the market to be higher. Next target in the queues for the swing trade is 95, realistic. And the queues will see $100 this summer. And the queues will see that, that number this summer. I just, I just don't know when. You know, that's the thing. So very nice uh, look here to this market. Don't short it. Buy it. Even the topping tail that happened back here a couple of days ago is going to completely 100% get over it. And it's been reversed now. It's gone. It's gone. It was gone yesterday. It was gone in a millisecond. This didn't even last for one day. And there's no reason to short this anyways. But I know people did. And they probably put the stop over the high. And it's going to get blown through here when it gets over the summer, over 60-ish, basically. But this could not even hold this weakness for a day. That was it. The pull-in the pull in actually was one move down in the late afternoon on that day. That was that was it. That was a pull-in. That was it. You could have bought it then the next day or the next day or the next day. That was it. That was the extent of the pull-in. There. Boom. Done. <laughs> so you have to be aggressive here in these long setups if you want to do them. If not, you're going to miss it. And then people will chasing and buying it late. And that's what's going to lift the market up to some crazy, crazy number this year because people still don't see how, that, how bullish this is. I do, but most people don't. Anyways, buy the market. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Last day to do the Golden Gap class to get the current price is to sign up is Monday, June 30th, if you want to do it. Class is July 12th and 13th. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. Email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com if you'd like more information. And have a great day.